Welcome to On Marketing, a show where we explore marketing's first principles, mental models, and my favorite, contrarian takes. This is a space where thinking differently about marketing isn't just encouraged, it's the rule. My aim is not to tell you what to think, it's assisting you in improving how you think about marketing and life. It's January 6, 2024. I'm Jordan Ogren, a marketing strategist by day and a podcast host by night. Today, we're going to discuss the origin story of this podcast, who this podcast is for and what progress it can help you make, a preview of season two, and my one ask of you. Ready to get in? Before we do, make sure to subscribe to the newsletter to get new episodes when they're released each week. The, f- the link to join is in the first line of the show notes. I always mess that up. And also, finally, a reminder that you can watch or listen to this podcast. So if you're on YouTube, you can also listen to this as a podcast. And if you're listening in uh, Spotify or iTunes or any of those, you can also watch this on YouTube. So whatever works best for you, please indulge. And finally, a reminder that opinions shared in this podcast are individual views of the hosts and the guests, not representing their employers or associated organizations. The content is intended for informational purposes only and should not be considered professional marketing guidance. Listeners should act on the information provided at their own risk. I'll see you on the other side. The first place that I wanted to start today's episode and the first episode of season two is really how this podcast came to be. Why did I start this podcast and why am I still doing it? Not that you likely care that much, but I think there is some insights in that that will help you understand, is this a podcast for you? Should you engage with season two or should you go find a different podcast that could help you more? So let's jump in the time machine and go back all the way to 2022. I was a marketer at a SaaS company, one of the first marketers, and I was charged with getting our product into people's minds, making them, helping them buy it and all of that. So that was a tough challenge for me because I only had about four and a half, uh, five years of experience, but no experience in selling software as a service. So what better way to learn than to interview a bunch of people? So in about a three to four month period, January 2022 to March, April, May of January of 2022, I recorded 25 episodes with SaaS marketers or marketers in that field just to really gain insights and also share some of that with four to five people that were listening. And that really helped me not only get better at marketing, but obviously as I'm here, get better at speaking and articulating my own point of views and my own thoughts. So that was kind of where it started, a a point of desperation, trying to understand how do I market a software as a service and saying, why not go to these people who have done it, who are masters at their craft and learn from them. And in my asks to those guests, it was always revolved around that. No one's listening to this podcast, but I want to learn from you. And I thought this would be a cool way to do it. So that's where this really started. And from there, I've learned so much, as I just mentioned, but also created amazing relationships, friendships, um, and and really just learned and, and expanded my own perspective. So that's where it started. It came from a place of desperation. And then that grew into the season one that I released, which really didn't have a premise, but it did have a premise. And that's going to be the first part that I want to jump into is, is what the hell is this podcast? What makes this any different than another marketing podcast you could go listen to or a blog or another newsletter? Well, I think the one unique thing about my podcast, this podcast is a focus on marketing's fundamentals. As I open this episode with, it's not, you know, how do we do email marketing better? That's clearly a component, but it's more about why would we do email marketing? Where does that fit into a company's marketing strategy? And how does that ladder up to help the business achieve its goals? So that really is the what is this show? It's really a place to help you improve how you think about marketing by having these guests come on, sharing their thoughts, sharing mental models that work for them. And hopefully you can then take what works and leave what doesn't. Who is it for? It's really for any marketer, anybody who wants to improve how they think about marketing. Now, for me, this clearly is more tilted towards individuals earlier in their marketing journey or people switching to marketing that really want to grasp the fundamentals, the basics, the things that we can build upon no matter what platform, no matter what new marketing channel comes around. It's the things that stay the same forever. So if that's you, this podcast is really built to give you those things that then you can go and build upon. I'm never going to tell you, you have to be on TikTok, you have to do a podcast, but I'm going to share rationales, the how, the why, the thinking behind it, which then you can apply no matter what. 
This podcast will help you make progress on understanding strategy better in regards to marketing. If you listen to season one and you engage with this upcoming season two, I promise at the end of this, you will think differently about marketing, new insights. You will have contrarian takes that maybe others around you don't see, but you now can't unsee the things that you heard or that led you to think that through this podcast. So the progress is not going to be, we're going to help you increase your followers to a hundred thousand. Because if you look at me, I don't have that many followers. This podcast doesn't have that many listeners. Season one got really close to a thousand total downloads, but even that isn't much. So the progress that you're going to gain from listening to this podcast isn't anything immediate. It's long-term growth because you understand marketing's basics. Now that leads into, I need you to do this podcast. Well, what do I mean by that? Even though I created it out of desperation for myself, I need you to help me give insights to others that can help people speed up their journey like I did through those interviews. So if there's a topic, if there's someone you think I should interview, if you think you should be interviewed, let me know because I need your feedback to continually improve this podcast to help it continually make help you make progress on that fundamentals, on understanding what is marketing, where does it play, what's the job to be done. So please find me on LinkedIn, connect with me, find me on TikTok, send me a message. I need you to keep making this podcast better because without you, this podcast isn't worthwhile. And and that's why I'm doing it is for you, for others that were there where I was and even where I currently am because I'm still learning so much through the recording of season two. And that leads to season two. What is season two? What's different about this season? One thing that's very different is it wasn't created out of desperation. It was created out of intense intentionality. The the season you'll notice has segments. So each episode will go through around four to five segments. One of those new ones is a marketing hot seat where I throw a bunch of questions at the individual and have them just share with me, yes, no, this or that, and then some open-ended. But it was created with complete intentionality on how can I help you make progress on marketing's fundamentals. So that's one key difference of season two is it's an intentional season. It's grouped around a few core topics, SEO, content, the future of marketing, AI. Those are some of the topics that I really go in depth with with my guests. So I wanted to share those some of those guests and some of those topics that we do have. So clearly you're on episode one. This is the first song of the mixtape. That's another different thing that I'm doing is I'm trying to release these as kind of an album that that it has somewhat of a, a unique angle or a unique time and place. For example, season one, that album was a very desperation SaaS based album. Album, right but this 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 album that I'm doing season two is very different I'm in a different place I have a new job I'm not in SAS anymore I'm working in a consultancy doing marketing strategic marketing and comms for many different companies so I'm in a different place so season two reflects that there's a total of 16 songs including this one one thing you'll notice is I'm gonna go back and forth or kind of alternate between having guests And then having an episode like this where I can just go off on my own, share some individual thoughts, share some things I'm seeing, some things I'm doing, and hopefully that can help you improve how you think about marketing. So episode one is going to be the intro. Then we're going to have two podcasts back to back. Episode two, episode three will be Tom and Tom, uh, two different Toms, but they're all around SEO, AI, and content. And then I'll come on for a solo episode all about macro content. This is something I've been fascinated about. How can you create one piece of content, a podcast, a blog, which then creates tons of micro pieces of content. So I'll go off on that. And then we have Jasmine, who is super intelligent on B2B marketing, LinkedIn ads, all of that content. And then we go with Timothy, who is a writer by trade, content marketer, super insightful, a lot of contrarian takes, and I love that episode. And then we have Trish, Big Sister Marketing, also after that for episode seven. She goes in on content, social media, all of that good stuff. And then I'll come on for a solo episode, episode eight, where I talk about lo-fi content. This is something that I think is only gonna be more prevalent in the future, where everybody's spending a ton of money to have these high productions. How can you create lo-fi content on a repeatable basis that connects with your audience because it's more personal and it just feels more human-like. 
Then episode nine, I interview Balaji, super interesting human, one of the most interesting people I talk to on this podcast. He's a expert speaker, so he pretty much takes the torch on that episode, so I'd really recommend checking that one out. Then I interview Anthony, a product marketer, guru. I don't want to use that word, but he's just so insightful. He's grown his LinkedIn audience so much over the past year by just figuring out small niches are good. Your target market's likely too big. So he shares a lot of insights on that. Episode 11 is my first ever more than one guest episode. I interview Timber and Andy who have their own podcast in Appleton. I'm based in Green Bay. Maybe should have said that, but I don't think you care much. They're in Appleton about 45 an hour, 30 minutes from me. So I got to interview both of them being podcasters, being content creators, being in a little bit of a different space. I'm spitting right now. I'm so excited. Uh, Communications more based, but how can podcasting help that? And that's a very interesting episode just because it's, it's a few people. Then I jump into episode 12 is a little interlude on AI. I'm not going to go super deep, but just kind of talk about where I'm seeing it in the marketing realm, what I think maybe you should be thinking about, what you should be possibly doing and just sharing a little bit on AI, where it's going and, and maybe where it will be come 2025, 2026. Episode 13 is with an incredible person, Jeremy Allen. He's super funny, super engaging. He's more on this brand side, which I think is huge in marketing. I touch on it a ton in season one, but he's an expert. He's a guru in that space, so we really dive deep into that. Episode 14 is with Leah Neumeyer. Probably saying that wrong. She's super insightful with social media marketing, where it's changing how you can do that effectively right now. And I think that's really one of the episodes I got a ton from because I think social media is critical, but I don't think many companies and individuals are doing it correctly or doing it in a way that positions them well for the future. So I really thought that episode was a great way to end my guest interviews, which then on number 15, I go deep on my definition of marketing. One thing you'll notice, every podcast starts with a question, what is marketing? What job should marketing get done in a company? I answer that question for a full podcast and you can just hear my definition, how I got there, why I think it, and maybe you can then take some of that to define marketing in a better way for you or you can leave what doesn't make sense. And then I end this season, episode 16, with a little outro, a little farewell, a little what's next as I'm really excited for season three and a few other different things that I have going on in the future that will be happening this year. So that's a lot, but I think that is is a very comprehensive preview of what's to come in season two. So if any of that sounds interesting to you, if you think you could get some value from it, please tune in for the entire season two because there's a lot of great great guests and great content that I'll be sharing that I've been writing on throughout the year. So that's it for this quick episode. I want to get you out the door, get you to that next episode with the Tom Squared because I really thought both of them bring in some insights that I was thinking about. And, and personally, uh, Tom, the first, the next episode of season two, he's a great or, uh, episode two of season two. Going too quick. It, it, he's a great friend, so it's just a fun conversation that I can have with someone I knew before. He was at my wedding, as I mentioned in his intro, so that's a super fun one. But before you go, if you can just do one thing for me, if you could subscribe to the newsletter, first line in the show notes to just receive, receive all new episodes, other insights and writings and musings that I'm doing, that's all in there. So if you want to stay up to date on this podcast, improve how you think about marketing and life, the newsletter is where it's at. So please subscribe. And if you want to, I would love it. If you're on YouTube, Apple, Spotify, just subscribe in there as well so you can get updated when we have new episodes drop. I'll be releasing them in a unique way where I do a few at a time. So you just want to be up on that and just make sure that you know when they're coming. As I mentioned, connect with me on LinkedIn, Jordan Ogren on LinkedIn, Jordan W. Ogren, I think is my at. Nobody really cares about that. But anyways, connect with me on there. I'd love to learn what you're thinking. And if, like I said, if you have any topics, any challenges, any guests that you want me to to discuss on season three or future seasons, that would really be helpful. And I really enjoy that you're here, that you're listening to me. I don't take that for granted. I know there's probably not many of you on the other side of this, but this is a journey that I've been on and I'm grateful and in debt to you for being here. I want to grow with you. I want this to be a symbiotic relationship that we both are in the arena. We're both getting better, making progress on what matters to us. So thank you for listening and really enjoy this conversation with Tom Kayampo. 
Campo Campo. I always mess up his name, but he's a dear friend, so he'll let it slide. Make sure to check out that episode, episode two, the next episode in this album. Thank you for listening. Thank you for making it this far. It really means the world to me that you listened, you viewed for that long. I appreciate it. I hope you got something valuable from the episode. If you did, make sure to hit that thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe so you can get the newest episodes every time delivered right to you. Hit that bell. Whatever they got on whatever platform you're on, make sure you can get that newest episode because that's my goal is to continually bring you new marketing and life advice, guidance, and tips so that we can both be making progress in marketing and life together. That's a goal. And if you haven't subscribed yet to the newsletter, it's in the first line of the show notes. Please click that so you, every Friday you get the newest episodes, new insights, and new book quotes as I read them. Thank you so much for being here, and I hope to see you again next week or next year or next month or whenever you can tune in again. Thank you for listening.